A favourite meal in my family when growing up was corned beef. And mum would cook it for us quite often and now I know why because it's so budget friendly and it just tastes so good. First of all, you've got to get yourself a big pot, just like this stock pot. And we do this because everything's cooked in the pot, including that beautiful stock. I don't throw away anything. I actually freeze the stock once I'm done. So in here, you'll see the corned beef. Now this is 1.2 kilos. And what I've done is placed the corned beef into this pot of cold water, brought it up to the boil, strained it and I've added another batch of water and then brought it up to the boil again. Now we need to add some flavouring. So a little bit of thyme along with two bay leaves. I've got some peppercorns here and I've also got some cloves. They can go straight in there. One onion and be really careful when you pop it in there so you don't get burnt. Two carrots. I've also got two leeks and some potatoes. So I've got two large ones or you can put a few smaller waxy potatoes in there. A few more things, a quarter of a cup of malt vinegar and to balance everything out, a quarter of a cup of brown sugar. So this is going to cook with the lid on after it's boiled down to a simmer for about an hour and a half and then it's ready. And I'm gonna show you the most beautiful, very classic sauce to go with it, a parsley bechamel. has gone by and the meat is cooked perfectly, it's tender. Now for the bechamel, I've got a pot on here, medium heat, 45 grams of butter. That goes in and we just start to melt that and allow it to bubble away and then we'll add some flour. So a quarter of a cup straight in there and this will make the roux. So a roux is a combination of the flour and the butter and you wanna give that a good stir and cook off that flour. And now we can start adding the liquid. So 400 millilitres of milk and little by little add it in. I now change over to a whisk just to ensure we don't get any of those lumps. So we'll whisk it in. As soon as it starts to thicken up again, a little bit more. Again, whisk it in. And when it starts to get really pale, just like this, we can add the remainder of the milk, whisk it all in again so there's no lumps, and you want to turn that back onto a high heat and constantly whisk until it starts to thicken. Once that starts to thicken and bubble away, I'll add a ladleful of our stock and it will almost be ready to go. is looking fantastic. It's not too thick either. You don't want it to be too thick and gluggy. Now we can add some other flavourings. First of all, a pinch of salt, but not too much salt. Don't forget corned beef is a little bit salty. So it's all about balancing in the kitchen. So just a touch of it. I love nutmeg. So a pinch of nutmeg and some seeded mustard. So I've so got about a tablespoon of mustard there. And one more whisk. And it is a parsley sauce. So we need lots of parsley. I've got some fresh parsley here. We'll just rip a bit off, scrunch it together, and just run the knife through it. Nothing better than the smell of fresh parsley. Nice big handful of that. And now it's time to start carving the meat. So let's try to fish it out of this wonderful stock here. Drain it off a bit. It smells so good. And then. Down it goes. And the beautiful thing about this is if there's leftovers, this is spectacular in a sandwich with pickles, yum. See how soft and tender this meat is? We'll also start to fish out our yummy veggies. I've got a leek and a potato here. I'm just gonna put them on this plate first. There we go. That can go straight on there. And to plate up simply, a few potatoes. Just like that, these potatoes are huge. We'll get one of those carrots, they're so soft and tender. Put that on there. And then two pieces of meat, that can go on there. And my favorite part, that parsley sauce, that reminds me of my childhood so much, that just goes straight over the top there. And don't forget this beautiful stock, freeze it, put it in a soup or make another white sauce.